Hey guys, Change Out One One here, and if you're wondering why I'm on the App Store, it's because I wanted to be prepared, and there is a new update for Theo Town today. And today is Friday, and even though you'll be seeing this on Sunday, because I scheduled this, because there's this new, I found out the new option on YouTube. I don't know if it's new or not, but if you're a partner with YouTube, you can schedule private videos to be unprivated. Is that a even word? But anyways, you can schedule them to be unprivated on a certain date and time. So that's what I did with this video, or I'm going to do, because I haven't done it yet. But basically what the update is, is basically they're changing the inhabitant system, which means that you probably won't have any more instances like this one person I was talking to. I've been talking to, um, he said that he hit the 2k inhabitants mark, and then it dropped to 700, and I was assuming that it was just a bug, just cause it's in beta, and he's a beta tester, so this update seems like it might be able to fix that, but, huh. all these games look like they suck, except for maybe open TDT, I mean TTD, I should probably t check these out. But anyways, let's go into Theo Town Beta, and I'll discuss the things. Whoops, that's not the right game. Get off. Oops, sorry about that. Um, we'll go into Theo Town Beta and discuss all the new features. I went on there a little bit earlier. Um, the new two new disasters that I've been talking about still don't work, so yeah. Also, it now recommends that you start a new city instead of loading in old ones because it says that it changed stuff. Theotown has developed a lot since the city has been created, therefore it might not work as expected. Please don't hate us. Yeah, it just basically calls it an ancient city. I didn't play for very long, but it didn't seem to have any problems. But then again, I, I play on Sandbox, so... Um, I don't believe it should have very many problems if your city is already big and self-sustaining. Except maybe the inhabitants will start leaving a bunch, or the old exploits where you can get infinite money, or fast money glitches, probably won't work anymore. But, uh, we're gonna go in the Slateport sandbox, just so I can show off everything and not have to worry about my city going to ruins while I'm talking. And, once this loads, I'll show you some of the new things. Just let me turn this down. As you can see, these things do not work yet. I'm tapping all over the screen. And we'll go to disease or illness. Still not working. Um, nothing new in any of these. As you can see. Still. The only thing they really changed was this. They added a bunch more of views. So I'm assuming that these are going to be uh, new options for viewing stuff when it's done. I'm, I'm just going to assume that these are all hints at something that they're going to add. Or well, not hints, but they're already in the game, but you can see what kind of what they are by reading the uh, draft underscore draft tax, taxes happiness. They're adding a bunch more of specific happiness indicators like to show what areas need in happiness specifically. But they might not add all of these to the game because it's kind of um, that's kind of a lot. But then again, there is a lot of things for happiness. But faith, I don't know about that. But ooh, they finally added fire danger. Um, I believe that mean green means fire danger. But anyways, um, as I was explaining last time, I think you can use these as a guide. If you're actually going to play Theotown Beta, though, as, like, an actual game and not cheat, do not use this to build specific specific buildings. Number one, because it's cheating, because you can just build huge buildings. And number two, because you're building them for free. It doesn't cost you any money. And that's why it's kind of cheating. But you can use this as a guide. Like, you can look at a house that you're wondering about. Or just look at the size of the house. And then it'll tell you, like, one square one square and it's something like this it'll t tell you like a guide what the density is, is frames build height um, how long it's gonna take the inhabitants how much water and power it's gonna take out so that's good now right and nothing new here huh, I haven't seen this frowny face in a while oh apparently the frowny faces mean zero happiness 
I mean, I would assume that considering you're next to a radioactive factory for power. Could have probably worded that better. Um, nothing new in any of these. I believe it's just fixing the problems with these things going up and then down right away. Like, it was really annoying. I used to remember where, and I'm not the only one with this, but the bars for industrial, residential, and commercial, they'd be like way, way up, and then you put some zones down, and they'd go down, and then you'd start wasting money trying to get them back level. And it was just like really horrible. And then people just start leaving randomly, even though your stuff is at 100% almost or above 90. Ooh, okay. That's pretty good. I can. Alright. Oh, they finally added crime? Alright, so this is a new hint for places. Like, this is going to be a, probably a hint for crime in the future, for police stations and them to be useful, besides riots. Or maybe the more crime, the worse the crime in an area, the more of a chance you'll get uh, play, uh, crime there or something. Um, I'm not sure what red means. I think the greener, no, the redder the color means it's worse. But if it's green I'm not entirely sure oh right it's only highlighting buildings cuz I bet yeah it's only gonna highlight residential buildings apparently alright so it's only highlighting residential buildings and it's showing probably I don't know the color schemes kinda confusing usually in games green is good but in this it means that it has that like the radioactive thing um, but as you can see, um, what the, oh my god, income, spending, that's nice, very, very nice. So apparently roads are super expensive now. I couldn't have had that many roads to the point where it's like that. No. No. Alright, I can get rid of the rails though. That's just not going to work now. Oh, they finally removed that now, so I guess there's no guide. But, I mean that makes it better so people don't cheat, but my god. Why am I losing so much money? I was so good before. Okay, so apparently I was wrong. If you load in old cities, you're gonna get fucked up. I was plus five thousand dollars, and now look. Like Jesus. And not to use the Lord's name in vain or anything, but wow. I'm not the most religious person, but oh my, that is. doing so bad ooh Ugh. god that's not good oh I mean well looks like I'm just gonna have to get rid of all this road I didn't think it would fuck up the city that much How's income now? Oh, I can't stand that. Ugh. Yeah, this. I'm just gonna have to replace all this road. Luckily, I had a ton of excess money stored up because I didn't really spend any. So I guess I'm kind of good on that. But it still really sucks. Like. Look at this, I have to replace all of my roads with dirt roads just so I can save money. Ugh. That's, that's so wrong. <sighs> well, looks like I'm gonna have to do that now. 
Alright, so you probably want to find I'm gonna probably try to find some way to convert your city because this is so evil. Like some way to convert your city so it doesn't get this horrible. Oh no. I can't shoot I can't do it like that. I have to have them roads. Cause I can't have a dirt road ridge. Oh my, that's not good. I guess I can kind of eliminate this. Yeah. I'm sorry, nothing personal. Just trying to save money here. Because <laughs> here, everything is expensive. Oops, this guy needs a road. Oh, that is no. Ugh. That's horrible. Don't you dare play that happy, calming music. This is not calming. Oh, the, but the mirror statue I'm going to keep no matter what. But, God, that is just... Ugh. Anyone who's watched the last episode knows that I had a ton of money coming in for the amount of inhabitants I was I had. I about had about five thousand coming in. Now look at this. Well, pretty much the opposite. So that sucks, I guess. So. Um, I'm gonna try to cut corners on money whenever I can. <sighs> Let's play it. That saved nothing. Oh, you should fix this. Yeah, I would fix it if I had money. Hmm, okay, so, learn my lesson, don't load in old cities, because apparently, yeah, so for some reason everything is really expensive now, or they added more stuff. I don't believe that though. They must have made roads more expensive or something. Yeah, look at that. These are four dollars now? Yeah, they definitely made this really expensive. Yeah. Because I could have sworn this was not eight dollars. Because I was complaining about this being ten. Yeah, they definitely made it more expensive. Well, looks like nobody's driving for a while. Oh my, this is horrible. Never again. Well, that's about it for this episode. You've seen me, um, you've seen that, let me, let me recap. Um, changed the inhabitant system, which meant that they probably fixed the whole glitchy thing with inhabitants leaving all that. They added a bunch more things for the viewing, and it completely fucks up your world because worlds are really expensive now. So, yep, hope you learned a lesson not to load in your old worlds, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.